might notice something different about my face right now. Um, I'm wearing clothing, by the way. <laughs> I know that looks really awkward. <laughs> I just have a no, no straps. Um, but yeah, I'm sure um, as you can see by my face, um, you know, and my knee. We had a scooter accident. Um, we we decided to take the back road areas to avoid the heavy traffic, which was totally fine. Um, I was on the back, Leon was in front. Hey guys, so we're Jen and Leon Travel. Uh, we're a couple who have been together for four years. I am originally from Canada. I'm from England, London specifically. And we actually met online through Instagram, through our poetry. Leon and I are both writers, both poets. Uh, you can find out way more about our history as a couple online on Instagram, which is where we originally started. Um, we've been traveling full-time around the world for over two years now, and we are currently exploring Indonesia. We just got here yesterday, so we'll be here for the whole month. Good timing. <laughs> Bad timing. Hello. Good timing. Let's start the video. <laughs> Leon was in front, and uh, it was a really windy road, and you know, when you're on a scooter, usually you honk, or vehicles in general honk when you're coming like around a bend where others can't see you because the roads are so tight. So we were kind of on a really bendy part and it was like going downhill for us. And there was a big truck coming up the other way that we didn't see because it didn't honk, so we couldn't hear it. And uh, when we went around the corner, you know, Leon just turned obviously to avoid it, which thank God he did because we are, you know, only dealing with this right now. Um, but yeah, because he had to turn away, um, the bike tilted and so Leon kind of slid all on the side of his body. He's got like this more on his arms, uh, on his arm and his knee like me. Uh, so the bike slid and Leon kind of, you know, was the, on an angle and the bike went on him. and. Uh, and because I was on the back, I went forward. Um, so I kind of flew forward. He went this way and I flew off the bike forward. Um, and we are both well wearing helmets. We were not going fast at all. You know, we're apprehensive on scooters, so we were very cautious. It was just the sharp turn and because we were already on a hill and we had to turn to avoid the guy, that's why we fell. So I don't have any hate for Bali or Ubud, but when people talk about using scooters in foreign countries, um, it's really important that you adhere to the advice. Um, you know, I, I know it's an accident, so, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. Accidents happen just like a car accident. Um, it's a risk you take when you're on a scooter. Um, in a car, nothing would have even happened. Um, but yeah, so I'm fine. It looks terrible. Uh, it stings like crazy everywhere. Um, but we're good. We're healthy. We're fine. Um, but unfortunately, we did not get to go and explore and we will not be. Um, so we're moving to our next Airbnb uh, today. So it's in the Kuta region, which is about an hour away. So maybe when we heal and get a little better in a few days, we'll go explore the areas here in Ubud that we wanted to. But I do want to say I absolutely adore it here. It's beautiful. Um, you know, obviously take care when, when you're scootering, if you're going to come here and do that. Um, but as, as it is in any country. So I just, I, I just want to make sure that I say from our experience, it wasn't traffic. It wasn't anything. It was back on the safety, quiet roads. It's, you know, the guy didn't honk. The guy didn't let us know. And it, you know, tight bends around the corner and the jungle blocks the view. So it's a risk you take but we're feeling fine. We're a little shook up. Um, no problem. The locals were super kind. They helped us. I didn't film any of it. Obviously it was really traumatizing, uh, for the two of us. It was, um, yeah. So I, uh, the locals stopped, um, even, you know, tourists stopped to see how we were doing and people were really kind and helpful. So, yeah. And for those of you that, that, uh, don't know, um, I'm a mama. And, uh, you know, I've had eight kids, not, not just my own, but I've raised a household of eight kids. At one point I had five teenagers and three 
um, you know, under 10 year olds in the house. So I definitely, um, I'm, I know how to treat wounds and tend to this kind of stuff. However, I'm not accident prone at all. And I would say this is the first injury I've had like this since I was like a child. Um, and it is really painful. And it made me think about all of the times that I've had to help treat the wounds. You know, kids ride bicycles and they fall or they play games and they get this, you know, road burn kind of thing. And uh, yeah, and I was a funeral director um, also, so um, I'm not squeamish when it comes to things. So I'm just really glad and thankful that Leon and I are safe. Um, so we went to the pharmacy. We didn't go to a clinic because, you know, it looks bad. Sorry guys, I know it's disturbing. It's not infected or anything, we're keeping an eye. Um, and you know, we're not gonna go out and about for the next day or two, because first of all, it's really painful as it dries and gets hard, the scabbing, it's really difficult and we both have it on our knees and our arms, like Leon's is so bad, I'll show you. Um, so yeah, so we're probably gonna kinda take it easy for the next couple days. So if our videos are a little slower paced, um, we will be getting full form videos out every day or two for the whole summer. Uh, just cause of the injury, it might take us a couple days to uh, heal. So we won't be moving around as much. We called to grab, we got some, we left the scooter there. The scooter was fine. There was a little crack in it, no problem. We got the damage, not the scooter. Um, so yeah, we just went, uh, we got a grab driver, came and picked us up. Everyone was kind. We went to the pharmacy and got antibiotic creams and bandages. And <clears throat> so we've tended it to it ourselves for now. Like I said, we'll keep an eye on it for the next day or two. And if need be, we'll go to the clinic. So yeah. Ooh, what we got here? So we got some delivery before we move on to our next location. I can't really eat or drink very well. So I need the straw and a smoothie. And this is Leon's arm. Look, his, his guy, sorry if you're squeamish. Put your arm up. Yeah, we, we had it bandaged, but we're just letting it air out a little bit. It looks dirty, but it's not. That's just coagulated blood. That's what happens. But yeah. So, and foot turn and knee. Up. Okay, so our delivery just arrived. We ordered from Monsieur Spoon. And there were some fees for the packaging, which we didn't really understand. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about the fees. So do you want to tell us about that a little? Yeah, I mean, so the packaging fee was like 8,000 Indonesian rupiah, which isn't a problem. Um, but I've not seen that before. Like being in Thailand, when you use Food Panda, they don't have packaging fees. But when it arrived, um, we did want to show you this. It feels like a balloon, but this is actually really awesome. If you look at the bottom, it's actually made from vegetable starch. Um, I don't know how they do it, but that that is really, really cool. And I think that this is the kind of thing that we should be doing. Um, actually, yesterday we were, or last night, we obviously were trying to recover a little bit from our injuries. And we were watching a, a documentary with uh, Dr. Stephen Greer, who has done a lot of work in, uh, in terms of like energy um, and, and also in and lots of other things. And it was really cool. They were talking about the environment. They were talking about the bad things we do. For example, the plastic that blights our landscape. And then here we go, plastic free. We get that this morning. So I highly um, recommend yeah, this documentary, guys. Seriously, it, yeah, seriously, seriously. Yeah. 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 We. Um. It, it's very informative. Um. Earth matters, and uh, we take it very seriously. And you know, it was awesome to see this yeah. come this morning. So yeah, it's really nice to see companies that are mindful of this. And I think this is the kind of thing you find for sure here in Ubud in yeah. Bali. This is the thing with Ubud, right? This is what you're gonna get here in Bali and Ubud tons of you know environmentalists people that are aware of nature they want to live peacefully with nature and not just take uh, be mindful of of the environment and um, you can definitely get that here in Ubud and I have to say despite the accident and everything uh, when when Leon and I were on the scooter before it happened we were literally driving through and saw the beauty of everything and I yeah. didn't film or didn't film because I thought we'd film on our way back because we like to enjoy things like on the way there and then kind of so yeah, but uh, we saw the beauty everywhere. It's stunning here. I would say that Ubud Bali has met my expectations, if not higher. And I think um, it will definitely be a place that we will come and stay for like a good month in the future when we're ready to have some downtime. Yeah, for sure, yeah. 
Do you wanna, no, we are. Wanna share? Sure. We got clips. Okay, so I got it like this because I can't uh, eat, obviously, right? I got to kind of slide things in the side of my mouth. So I got some scrambled eggs in here and some smoked salmon. Oh, it slid over, but this is some cream cheese, smoked salmon with tomatoes, and this is steamed spinach. Mm. I got Look a chicken and egg kind of and cheese club sandwich um but i think it's kind of like a bit like coronation chicken okay now we're gonna eat our food because we haven't eaten since 11 a.m yesterday and now it's 10 a.m today uh we couldn't eat because we weren't feeling well from our injuries 